So I've had this crazy idea for the past couple months of hitting a golf ball in Times Square. And no, I don't actually mean hitting a golf ball in Times Square that would be extremely dangerous and irresponsible. I mean doing it with visual effects. If you guys have watched this channel before, you know that in the past I've done visual effects projects where I've traveled to crazy places and done crazy transitions for Instagram projects. Editing this golf shot isn't gonna be as difficult as some of the VFX stuff I've done in the past, but it's gonna be a bigger logistical problem of figuring out how to swing a golf club in the middle of Times Square. We gotta go figure this out. But let's hop out of New York City and head back to Dallas where the story starts. For some reason, my girlfriend and I thought it would be smart to book the 5 a.m. flight to save a little money, but that is almost never a good idea. Cheers to New York. I love a good deal, and I've done this multiple times, and I almost have always regretted it, so yeah. Ground, New York, we gotta find a golf club. Mission Golf Club. Mission is Golf Club. We have made it to New York. The problem is finding a golf club in New York, I mean, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. I also didn't ship my clubs because we're only here for a couple days. And, holy, what the? We're only here for a couple days, so I didn't want to ship my clubs. So we're gonna go buy one, and I don't want to buy like a really expensive one. So we have to find a ball and a club. We gotta go figure this out. Alright, what do you think the odds are we actually find a golf club? A used golf club? Because I'm not trying to buy like a new... Yeah, I'm going 60%. I like that. I'm going to go 67%. Let we literally the search have, begin! We literally have no idea where we're going. This city's a little different than Frisco, Texas. Definitely, <laughs> definitely can say that. This city's awesome, but also intense. Left on to 35th, to the New York Golf Center. <laughs> new York Golf Center, if you guys live in New York. How is it? We're about to find out. I think I see some used clubs. Seriously? There's definitely some used Oh wait, those might be kids clubs. Wait, this is actually perfect. I found, this is 25 bucks. Wait, what club is it? It's a five It's a lefty. Is that a lefty? Oh, this is a righty. How much is this one? 30 bucks. 30 bucks a cowboy. Wait, I actually used this. I'm not even kidding. I always wanted this wedge when I was a kid. This is actually perfect. This is gonna work. It's clutch. That's easy. All right, we found a club for 30 bucks. Let's find a ball. I just spent $37.12, so that means 3,712 likes. We're now carrying a four iron through the streets of New York, so. I've seen weirder. So with a four iron in one hand and a golf ball in another, we headed to Times Square to scout out where exactly we were gonna do this. Going into this, we understood that swinging a golf club in the middle of Times Square during normal waking hours was probably not gonna work out. So we're probably gonna have to do this between like 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. At least that's that's what we're thinking. There's so much going on, I'm pretty confused, but I thought people were gonna be more concerned that we had a golf club, but... No one's noticed. No one, no one really looks at anyone, so... We're walking up to Times Square now, we're gonna try to figure out the best spot to potentially shoot this trick shot, I guess. I feel like literally right here is actually perfect. Yeah. Up to there. The problem is it's gonna have to be like 3 a.m. Otherwise. Past midnight when the shop's closed. Yeah, I feel like we gotta do it after dinner because then it dies down. And then that is gonna be a good, good ad. 
So after going back and forth on a couple different spots of where I was gonna be swinging this golf club, we picked one. After deciding it was still only around 8.30, so we chilled out a little bit, grabbed some dinner, and then accidentally fell asleep, but luckily set our alarms for 12.30 a.m. And I like tripping. That looks like an airplane. Yeah. As some of you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Casey Neistat. And until a couple of years ago when I visited New York to work on a video project, I had only seen it through Casey's videos. And for those of you that haven't seen Casey's videos, a lot of the intro clips to his vlogs would be some crazy thing going on in New York. And I always wondered how often does that stuff really actually happen? And then you start walking through New York and you just feel a different energy and you see things that you really would see nowhere else on the planet. Kelly and I walked down the street and we literally saw like a live action dinosaur through a wind. Like it's, I don't know, it's wild. And if you haven't been, I would definitely recommend at least checking out once in your life. It's constantly so crazy that while we were walking over there to get the shot, I was a little worried that it still would be too busy at 1 a.m in Times Square to get this done. All right, we made it back out to the streets. It's currently 1 a.m. in New York and walking with a golf club. For some reason, I'm nervous because I feel like the cops are gonna be there. I probably should not talk so loudly. Kelly also just woke up. <laughs> Shout out to her for coming out with me at literally 1 a.m. She was like asleep and I was like, can you come like film me, please? Um, I'm just hoping that there's not a whole lot of people in Times Square. I'm not doing anything bad, but it's gonna look like I'm like trying to hit a golf ball in Times Square, but that's not what's actually happening. If I don't commit a crime, <laughs> Nothing can happen. Right. I need to stop saying these things out loud. I was so just loud. gonna say, if you feel like you're guilty, you're gonna like look guilty, and you're gonna attract that vibe. That's that's the problem. I just I feel guilty right now already. But like I'm not really doing anything what? wrong. But anyways, also the first vlog in this new lens is super wide, and I'm literally not even holding that far with my body, and it's just like you can see the whole city. <laughs> All right, shout out to Grant up here. Put him on a billboard. We finally got to Times Square and it was time to film this thing. It took a few takes and we had to wait a couple times for some people to walk by and clear because even though it was 1 a.m., it still was pretty busy. But luckily we chose to film in a spot where there weren't quite as many people. Anytime you're adding visual effects to a scene, it helps to have something practical on set to kind of like sell the motion. So I bought this driving range tee at the golf store so when I swung the club, it would flip up and just add a little bit more realism to the scene. Then all I had to do from there was set the ball in the tee so I could freeze frame it, mask it out, and then overlay it back on top when I'm actually swinging the golf club and hitting the tee. I actually edited together two different versions of this shot. I had one where the sign glitched out and one where it didn't. I wasn't trying to trick people with this trick shot, but I thought if it could maybe fool a couple people, that'd be kind of cool. And if the screen broke, I feel like it would obviously be fake. But if I just kind of showed the ball flight, I knew if the people that watched this channel saw it, they would know that I do VFX and it wasn't real. But I figured to the random person scrolling through Instagram, if they came across it and maybe thought it was real, it could potentially go more viral. Um, this is now a good time to plug. If you want to go to Instagram and like the post and help it get out there a little bit, Go to Instagram and go to at Colin Ross Vlogs. Follow me and go comment. Wow, this is totally unsafe. I can't believe you would do something like this. Leave, leave me a comment, something like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. The button is right here. I don't know, maybe in the future I can do stuff like hitting a ball in the Grand Canyon or hitting a ball. I, I don't know. I feel like there's just with VFX, there's some cool, interesting concepts that I could do. I mean, you click the subscribe button. It helps feed my hamster. His name's Richard and uh, he, he needs it. So I don't know.